You may have seen her host the reality series, Caught in the Act, Unfaithful. Yes, it is exactly what you guys think it is, but what I love about this series is that not only does she catch the cheaters, but she sorts out the whole situation. She helps couples navigate through their relationship problems. Tammy Roman will be joining us right here on Sidewalks Entertainment. So don't go anywhere. Relax. Let's go ahead and get right to it right here on Sidewalks Entertainment. From the MTV series, Caught in the Act, Unfaithful, I'd like to welcome Tammy Rowan to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, Tammy. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi there. So before we talk about Caught in the Act, Unfaithful, uh, let's take a short trip down memory lane. Your first appearance on TV was in the 1993 reality TV series, Real World Los Angeles. Um, this was back when the reality TV was uh, somewhat new and gaining popularity. How would you describe what your experience was like working on that show and how much would you say reality TV has changed since then? Well, in 1993, nobody even knew what reality TV was. Uh, mm -hmm. The genre did not exist. So for me, in describing my experience, it was like, okay, they asked me to move into a house and they're going to film me and I don't got to pay rent and get to live at the beach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I, was, I was 22 years old at the time. So for me, it just felt like they were doing a social experiment on people who um, weren't really in each other's inner circle or circle of friends. And they wanted to find out what the outcome would be. That's the extent of what I thought the real world was going to be. I had no mm -hmm. idea that it would spark a whole genre of TV, which ultimately has definitively changed. Um, you know, we were just kids. They followed us from sunup to sundown, 24 hours a day, and they made TV from that. We didn't have to be anything other than ourselves. I think with reality TV today, you know, people are trying to be, um, you know, the the fan favorite, the breakout star, the the whatever, the bad guy. You know, people mm -hmm. are trying trying to create characters of themselves to be a part of these ensemble type of shows, and that is what I love about Caught in the Act, Unfaithful, because it goes back in its own way, even though it's not an ensemble type show, it goes back to that real way that reality TV was made. These are real people in real relationships who are seeking real help, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So uh, yeah, it has changed, but I think uh, the pendulum is swinging back the other way and people are getting back to situations that are real. So you could almost say that when it comes to the show uh, Caught in the Act, Unfaithful, you're not only a relationship detective, but you're kind of almost like a also a relationship counselor. I mean, you're not only just trying to catch people caught in the act just to catch them cheating, but you're also trying to help them navigate through their relationship problems. Exactly. Uh, our show is, is, is different in this sense. Yeah. It's not about sensationalism for us. It's really because we want to help people. Now, the perspective that I come from is more like your best friend who's always going to tell you the truth. Your mama, sister, auntie, cousin who's always going to tell you the truth and give you their advice and counsel based on the experiences that they've had. That's my perspective. I have relationship experts who are there to speak to you from a professional standpoint. These people are trained, they're therapists, they know what's going on. I have coach uh, Ken Canyon, who is a trained therapist. Then I have DJ Envy, who's an author, who's on the radio, who does relationship tours with him and his wife, Gia. But more importantly for DJ Envy, he's a cheater who's reformed, 
who has reestablished trust and honesty and love in his relationship. And he can speak from that standpoint of living something and helping someone who's going through that moment now learn how to maneuver that. So with the cheating cases and, you know, cause they are cases with the cheating cases, how do you choose which case that you'll take on? I have to hear what the story is. I want to hear about the relationship. I want to hear, you know, and, to, and when I say here, I mean, take me all the way back. How did you guys meet? What, you, what the families thought of the relationship? When did you notice a change? Why did you fall in love in the first place? And then what is at stake for you? What is on the line that brought you to me that you want to find out what's going on in your relationship? And then where do you think finding out the truth is going to lead you? And based on those answers, that's how I decide which people I'm going to assist or not. Because sometimes you can hear something and go, okay, so you're assuming this is going on because your boyfriend in high school cheated on, you know, it's like, you know, yeah. sometimes we carry our baggage <laughs> with us, right? And it's unfortunate, but those people, I encourage them to heal from the traumas that they've gone through first before entering into another relationship, before trying to find out what's going on in this relationship by way of me, trust your intuition. Maybe it's something you need to take a break from. And then when you take that break, heal from everything you've gone through. And when we say heal, people say, well, the, it's easy to say that if you're not going through it, but when you want to do the work, when you want to get to the root of the problem, when you want to really understand the emotions and the triggers that affect you, you it is possible for you to heal from the things you've experienced. And I would encourage those people to do that. And if you uh, satisfy me with your answers uh, about your relationship, then I will take your case and bring you into my world. So uh, apart from your work on a uh, Caught in the Act Unfaithful, you are an actress, a producer, a TV personality, a businesswoman. So when you're not doing all of that, what do you like to do in your free time? I'm, I'm very rarely free off camera, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I do have those moments where I actually spend time with my husband. <laughs> well, I feel, I feel like you need it. I feel like you need the off time. Or my, uh, my two daughters. So my downtime uh, moments are few and far between, but when I have them, it's really about family for me. Oh, I love that. Sadly, we are out of time, but thank you so much for taking time to speak with me today. Everyone, be sure to watch more of Tammy Roman in the MTV series, Caught in the Act, Unfaithful. You take care, Tammy. Thank you for having me. Have a good rest of the day. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.